In Ukraine's ongoing fight against Russia, a new player is proving its worth, giving the country a potential game-changing edge, the Black Hornet drone. These tiny yet powerful unmanned aerial vehicles act as lifesavers for Ukrainian troops on the ground, providing critical intelligence and reconnaissance. Thanks to the support of the United States, the United Kingdom, and more importantly, Norway, Ukraine has now amassed an entire fleet of these drones, ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. In July 2023, the US announced that it would deliver $400 million in military aid to Ukraine. While this package included standard military assets like armored vehicles and air defense missiles, it also featured the cutting-edge Black Hornet drones produced by Teledyne Fleur Defense. A month later, the UK followed suit, working in collaboration with Norwegian manufacturers to provide Ukraine with an additional $9 million worth of Black Hornets. In total, Ukraine has received over 1,000 of these drones, giving Kiev a significant advantage in surveillance and reconnaissance. But how does such a tiny, seemingly insignificant device have such a profound impact on the battlefield? If at any point during this video you end up liking it, I'd love it if you hit that like button. To understand the significance of these drones, it's important to start with the basics. What exactly are Black Hornet drones? Who makes them? And why are they so important to Ukraine's military? In the simplest terms, Black Hornet nano drones are micro UAVs designed specifically for reconnaissance missions. Unlike many other drones in Ukraine's arsenal, some of which are equipped for offensive operations, the Black Hornet is focused entirely on stealth and gathering intelligence. The drone's small size, advanced technology and silent operation make it ideal for missions that require discretion and stealth. But that's only the beginning of what makes these drones so effective. They were first developed by Norwegian company Prox Dynamics. And while the company was sold to US-based FLIR in 2016, the company still produces the drones in Norway. And most of the research and development is also conducted by the now large team of engineers in Norway. The Black Hornet program started in 2011, when Norwegian Prox Dynamics founder Peter Moren first developed these drones for military use after many years in the RC plane and helicopter industry. They were initially deployed in Afghanistan, where they quickly became a valuable asset for ground troops. The key to their success is their portability. They're small enough for individual soldiers to carry in a backpack, complete with a compact case for easy transportation. The latest version, the Black Hornet 4, measures just 16.8 centimeters from nose to tail and weighs a mere 70 grams. These drones are so tiny that they can be hidden among trees, bushes, or even rubble, making them nearly impossible for enemy forces to detect unless flown directly into their line of sight. In Afghanistan, they save soldiers a lot of trouble when clearing compounds, houses, and areas of possible ambush. Special Forces soldiers are extremely valuable assets, and these drones contributed massively to keeping them alive. One of the drone's most critical advantages is its near-silent operation. Unlike the characteristic buzzing that most UAVs emit, the Black Hornet is engineered to be almost inaudible when airborne, allowing it to infiltrate enemy positions unnoticed. This makes it an invaluable tool for reconnaissance, especially in contested areas where traditional surveillance methods could be too risky. Another feature that sets the Black Hornet apart is its unique design. Unlike the quadcopter layout, common among other drones, the Black Hornet resembles a tiny helicopter, this design allows it to maneuver through tight spaces and squeeze through gaps that larger drones could never manage. Equipped with multiple high-definition cameras, the drone captures and transmits live footage back to its operator, who can be safely positioned far from the action. The cameras, located at the front and underside of the drone, offer a wide range of views, giving troops on the ground a clear picture of what lies ahead. With a flight time of about 25 minutes per charge, the Black Hornet provides ample opportunity to survey a battlefield, record detailed footage, and return to its operator. Recharging the drone takes about the same amount of time, meaning it can be deployed multiple times in a single day. This extended operational capacity makes it a versatile tool for ongoing reconnaissance missions. Despite its advanced capabilities, the Black Hornet does come with a hefty price tag. As of the most recent public data, each drone costs about $195,000, with Ukraine receiving around 1,300 of these drones since Russia's full-scale invasion. 
the total investment in Ukraine's Black Hornet fleet stands at an estimated $253 million. While this is a significant sum, the strategic value these drones provide on the battlefield makes it a worthy expenditure. One of the drone's greatest assets is how easy it is to deploy. Unlike traditional UAVs that require ground launches and often weigh soldiers down, the Black Hornet can be launched directly from a soldier's hand. The launch process is remarkably simple, almost akin to flying a toy helicopter. With a single press of a button, the drone takes off and is controlled remotely, making it easy to deploy in a matter of seconds. This user-friendly interface adds to its versatility, as virtually any soldier can operate it with minimal training. Despite not being equipped with offensive capabilities, meaning it can't carry or launch weapons, like in example this Reaper drone, the Black Hornet's adaptability and stealth make it a powerful weapon in a different sense. The drone's ability to provide real-time intelligence allows Ukrainian special forces to scout ahead, identify enemy positions, and avoid ambushes. Entire platoons could deploy multiple drones in quick succession, creating a near-constant surveillance net over a battlefield without putting soldiers in harm's way. The drones are so small and light that soldiers can easily carry them in their gear, making them perfect for on-the-go reconnaissance during high-stakes operations. And later in the video, we're going to hear directly from a Ukrainian Special Forces operator about how blindingly effective these drones are for them. However, no technology is without its limitations. When British forces first used the Black Hornet in Afghanistan in 2013, they found that one of its biggest weaknesses was its susceptibility to wind. A strong gust could easily knock the lightweight drone off course, and early versions of the Black Hornet were particularly vulnerable due to their minimal weight of between 30 to 40 grams. Fortunately, the newer Black Hornet 4, now in use by Ukrainian forces, has been improved. It can withstand gusts of up to around 28 kilometers per hour, making it far more resilient in challenging weather conditions. Rain also presents an issue for the Black Hornet. The drone can only handle light precipitation. Heavier downpours can impair its flight capabilities, making it most effective in clear weather conditions. Despite these environmental limitations, the Black Hornet's strength lies in its stealth. The drone's quiet, battery-powered electric motors and aerodynamic design allow it to fly almost undetected. The noise it emits is minimal, making it nearly impossible to hear, even for soldiers stationed nearby. According to engineering reports, the drone can remain undetected as long as it stays more than three meters away from enemy troops. Its near silence, coupled with its small size, means the Black Hornet can hover close to enemy positions without alerting them to its presence, an essential feature for reconnaissance in hostile areas. Now, I know that not all of you are gearheads like myself, so let's move on to how Ukraine uses the Black Hornet. As Ukrainian troops advance on Russian positions, the drones are deployed to scout the terrain, providing real-time footage of Russian troop movements, artillery placements, and any other potential threats. The detailed imagery allows Ukrainian forces to adjust the tactics on the fly without giving their positions away like a bigger drone would, making more informed decisions that minimize risks to soldiers and maximize the effectiveness of their operations. Ukraine has less soldiers and value the lives of their soldiers to a much greater extent than Russia. Having been involved in training some of the soldiers that are now part of one of Ukraine's special forces teams, I had the chance to reach out to one of them to ask them about how they use the Black Hornet. His response confirmed a lot of what we've discussed in this video. He tells me that each squad has at least three Black Hornets and that they have saved his brothers in arms lives in many encounters with Russians often behind enemy lines. They use them to breach buildings Russians are often set up in, and he credits them heavily with how successful his squad have been at taking captives in particularly in the Kursk region. Further, he adds that the Russian electronic warfare systems are often not very effective against them, and that they often do not need to worry about losing people to tripwires and ambushes if the Black Hornets go in first. Without being allowed to mention which team my friend is a part of, he goes on to mention how Russian Special Forces teams do not have a counterpart to the Black Hornet and it often ensures that Ukraine has a massive edge if Special Forces teams from both sides end up fighting each other. While Ukraine have quadrupled their Special Forces teams and operators since the start of the war, Russia has lost most of theirs. 
Another crucial role the Black Hornet has played is in documenting Russian war crimes. Ukrainian officials have used the drones to gather evidence of atrocities, such as the targeting of civilian areas, destruction of homes and infrastructure, and attacks on non-combatants. This footage has been used to rally international support, put pressure on Russia diplomatically, and build cases for potential war crimes trials in international courts. The Black Hornet's ability to record detailed, time-stamped footage makes it an ideal tool for documenting evidence in war zones where human rights abuses are taking place. Of course, there are some risks to using such advanced technology in a war zone. In some instances, Russian forces have captured Black Hornet drones, raising concerns that they might attempt to reverse engineer the technology or even repurpose the drones for their own use. While the encryption systems and other security features built into the Black Hornet make it difficult for adversaries to access or tamper with its data, the possibility of captured drones being studied and replicated is a legitimate concern. In a war where intelligence and quick decision-making can be the difference between victory and defeat, the Black Hornet provides Ukraine's special forces with a crucial advantage, helping to protect soldiers on the ground, disrupt Russian operations, and gather vital evidence for future war crime prosecutions. The impact of this tiny drone is immense and, in my humble opinion, has changed the way urban warfare is conducted forever. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could hit that like button. It really helps us compete in a large sea of content. And as always, I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any thoughts on this video or about which topic you'd like me to cover next.